All right, hey guys, welcome to episode 11. Um, we're continuing on with our fleet. So we've currently got four vehicles, um, Beta, Flagship, Alpha, and Gamma. Um, I'm really hoping that we get attacked by a plane so Gamma can do more things. <laughs> um, so we've currently got essentially we need to put more work into our actual flagship because it is just a little too cheap. Um, I don't really want to spend too much on it, but considering the fact that it is the flagship, we probably should be spending a bit more on it. So I'm going to go ahead and update the armor on it to be a little bit better. There we go. So that should make us a little more resilient to attacks from the front. Although it does mess a little bit with the balance of the craft. But whatever. I do plan anyway to increase the back armor as well. So I'll just go ahead and put that here. Pull that off. Yeah, we'll just extend that out. There we go. And we need a rudder. There we go. Okay, so that upgrades this ship at least a little bit. It brings it up into the 8k range. Uh, there's not a whole lot I want to do with this one, just because it is the one I'm manually piloting. And yeah, that's just the least interesting part of this. <laughs> so we are going to be heading out. Um, yeah, so we've got 9,000 resources nearby. I don't want to add another ship yet. But I will probably be doing some further upgrades. I actually put this thing under AI control. Yeah, let's put you under AI control. Which you apparently are already. Why can I control your speed then? <laughs> okay, there we go. Back into proper fleet mode. All right, so. Um, yeah, so it looks like Alpha is the next to get an upgrade. So let's go ahead and work on Alpha a little bit while we explore, look for new enemies to fight. Um, I'd kind of like to double Alpha, like d double its length. Although we could just increase the width. That actually might be a better idea. It's also really rocky, and I'm sorry for that, guys. <laughs> um, yeah. Where where is your PID? What is controlling this rocket? Yeah, that seems a little better, at least. Okay, let's go ahead. Make sure that we have a target. We still do. Extend it out. Uh, alpha, back to construction. That felt like a little lag bubble. So something may have spawned in. Yeah, so what we do. Go ahead and do like that. There we go. Get rid of that. Just replace it. Because I essentially want to get this thing just to be able to launch more missiles. <laughs> I'm just checking the altitude. 
Uh, no, it's too heavy right now. As for the generator, we will change that over to 0.3. Yeah, there we go. But I do believe that makes him short on power. So I feel like we should probably expand, extend this jet out. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. There we go. Okay. Well, that completely unbalanced alpha. Wonderful. <laughs> Can we just go like this? Yeah, it looks like we need a little bit more mass at the back. Which we can, of course, do. I just want to keep Alpha up in the air while we're working on it. Uh, yeah, because these should technically be back here, not there. I just want to go ahead and do this. I'm going to take these off. Much better. Okay. Perfect. Um, although, yep, yeah, we're definitely, definitely short on pitch controls. Wonderful. So, yeah, how to do this? I guess that's basically what we're going to have to do. Let's, let's lift him out of the water again, guys. Spread to neighbors. Spread to neighbors. Come on. There you go, Alpha. Please, please don't have roll issues there you go go where's the fleet how far off are you Did we lose alpha alpha okay yeah he's pretty far <laughs> from the fleet itself um whatever he's fast he'll catch up uh let's continue on still want to continue building although he's literally out of material range that's actually a decently large issue, but yeah, basically I want to extend him out because I want to put another missile here or maybe on the top. Let's see what else can we do to make this thing a little more reliable. I could do like a laser warner and a smoke dispenser. Yeah, hell with it. Alpha, you're good for now. Let's see. God, I wish this thing just controlled better. I'm super tempted to just make it fly. <laughs> We're having terrible problems with roll control. Like it's just the problem of the day is roll controls. Okay. 
scout. I'm su kind of surprised because we are yeah, 12 minutes in, nothing spawned yet. Everything is just safe. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Could try to improve. Because uh, we got 8k, 10k, 9.5, 9. I'm tempted to work on beta, but I feel like we should work on gamma a little. It's because he's having a bad time. He didn't get to shoot anyone. Like, look, zero materials. He didn't get to shoot at all. Like, not even one shot. So let's go ahead and give him some cannons. Oh, and an enemy just spawned behind us. So let's actually go ahead. Beta just got hit. Where is the enemy? Down here. Let's turn resource circles on. Yep, yeah, let's turn around. So it's a Volta, which is a very fast electric craft, which means we're going to have a hard time hitting it. And we're going to hit beta instead. Because, <laughs> you know, got to hit each other. Okay, beta, beta, just just stay over here, buddy. Just just over here. Can we just can we not? There we go. Whoa, that looked like a big shot. Or is that Alpha shooting? Alpha, can you just can you look at the enemy? Is that a thing you can do? Just turn around. Uh, great use of missiles. Alpha, turn around. Face the enemy. <laughs> I feel like I should just put him on auto mode. And I am probably going to have to use the minigun here. Because, man, oh man, oh man. I think, yeah, because we're doing decent damage to him. That is a custom jet. Somebody blew off a custom jet. There we go. Good work, guys. 2,500 material. All right. Well, the question is how much repair? Alpha took a lot of damage. Uh, alpha, back to formation. Beta, just here. Just follow. Both of you just follow behind. Let's just do that. <laughs> Um, Alpha, can you make it over? Or are you going to need me to grab you? Because it looks like you just took armor damage. Uh, yeah, he seems to be making it over fine. All right, let's take a look at the stats on beta. Yeah, decent damage. Yeah, still doing pretty well. What is that? Oh, let's see, the repair tentacle, okay. <laughs> I was like, what the? All right, well, 
overall we didn't really gain material from that fight we didn't lose any so all good um i guess let's head to the west I feel like I should be putting more weapons up, but I don't know what. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, but how are you having so much trouble? Like you, you used to be the fastest, and you currently are. You're moving 18 meters a second. Like you're fine. Get over there. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore him. Okay, let's torpedo them maybe, another advanced cannon, and I'm just, somebody's like revving the hell out of their truck outside, but it doesn't look like the microphone's picking up, so all good. Um, there you go, now you can hear it, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Rednecks. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go ahead. Let's install a small particle cannon. 70. I'm just trying to think if that would put us over budget, but it doesn't look like it would. And then again, we also need batteries. Um, so we're going to go with the short range lens. And I, th I think what we're going to do is just two meters of pipe. Let's see. Yeah, 35 degree field of fire. So you can't aim straight up, but you can't aim straight down. It's fine. This, that. And we'll just do metal. Let's go like this. Why is Alt N not on? I don't know. Four meter beam on top. And yeah, two meter. All right, that should do it. And I do need to continue building on Gamma because is there any enemies? No. All right, so we need a AI weapon controller right under the turret. A receiver. And then how much power does this thing actually eat? Energy shot 2,400. So let's just go ahead, batteries. Um, yeah, we're just going to do this two of them and a little RTG. So it's not going to get to do a ton, but that's 15 shots. And then it's just going to take a long time. Yeah. 30 per second. Yeah. So that takes what? A hundred seconds for it to fully charge those two batteries. It's like not the worst thing in the world. Okay, how much does that put his cost up to? Yeah, ten nine. So he's now more expensive than Beta, but that should make him much much more effective. We are going to do a field of fire restriction, just because I don't want him shooting the anti air in the back of the head. I don't mind if he knocks off the sensors, it's fine. So we're just gonna do this. I have to flip them though. So we're here and here. Uh, a little more. Yeah, we'll just do 15, 15. 
It does a 30 degree blind spot in the front. That's fine. There we go. All right. Um, yeah, that should basically be good. We're just continuing along. Alpha is falling behind. Alpha, like, what is this? Why are you falling behind, buddy? Like, you should be plenty fast. And I'm actually going to go ahead and use a Deadpool extender on that. There we go. Yeah, that increases his speed way up. Perfect. And you know what we should do is put a little bit of lead on the bottom of the ship. Because that should help with the roll. Not a whole lot, but I could probably do a better keel than that. Oh. And we do have a resource zone with 8,000 in it. Um, so just to go to the resource zone, not fly a thousand miles past it, but... <laughs> All right. Well, I think unless anything, unless anything happens, I'll edit out until we get to the resource zone. So we'll be right back, and I'll see you guys there. All right, uh, welcome back. So just on the way, I got a little annoyed with the way beta was moving. So we are gonna go ahead and make a bit of a modification. I took one of his thrusters off the back and I'm gonna be moving it up to the front here. <laughs> like it, it, was, it was just really getting to me. <laughs> there we go. So I think that that should help stabilize him a little bit having some of the thrust at the front instead of all of it at the back. Although we might have to go ahead and go put these back up to four. And it might also help him with turning. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to figure that one out. Yeah, so I think that we might go ahead, chuck this armor out, do the same thing here. There we go. So that improves the speed. It also means that if his tail gets shut off, there is still potential for movement, unlike how it was previously. I feel like this one actually, yeah, not enough free room behind, 37%. Okay, never mind, put this back. <laughs> uh, let's put him here. Water. Uh, propeller and boop. Not enough for oh, beta. Why are you so? Why are you so weirdly built? Who who did this? Who built you this way? <laughs> oh wait, wait. It was me, wasn't it? Was, it, was this my doing? I feel like this was my doing. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, so that makes beta handle a little better. That was a bit of a lag spike. I don't see an enemy that spawned in, but it may just be outside my range, who knows. But yeah, beta seems to have very little issue with roll, which is nice. Um, we're gonna go ahead and check if the cram has landed a single hit yet. It has not. I think it might be time to get rid of the cram. Yeah, I'm feeling it. It's it's time. Goodbye. You have failed.
you've been deemed a failure and unworthy of your station on the ship. <laughs> um, hmm. The question is, what do I replace it with? Because I could just copy paste that gun that we already have three copies of again. But we don't exactly have storage area for below deck here. So what we might do, yeah, we might just go missiles. Let's see how expensive is, is beta? Nine five. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll do a medium missile, I guess. So we are going to pull this off. Actually, we'll we'll do some small missiles. It's because I kind of like small missiles. I mean, you can never have too many. They are going to be actual missiles, so we're going to do that. Metal. Why is Alt N off every time? Anytime I want to do anything, I forget. Uh, identify friend or foe. We're not going to stagger them because I just want them in the enemy's face quickly. Um, yeah. I don't know. I just find active radar is just the best in every way. And yeah. <laughs> it just. It just gets things done, and I appreciate that. Uh, we're going to do fuel tank, not prediction guidance. <laughs> that makes more sense. And 9.3 seconds, copy. And we do have to give the AI control of this. Ah, never mind, we already did. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so we have made it to the resource zone. And we will be taking advantage of that because we do need some resource. 25 per second. Yeah. It's actually generating more than we're harvesting. Wow. That's with two gatherers. And, oh, yeah, they only do six each. There we go. Oh, yeah, and Alpha has gatherers as well. I forgot. But yeah, that should give us plenty of material. Bring us back up to around 10k. Which means we could either extend... Okay, what are you doing? Just just stop. We're at the destination. Just stop. You, we, we don't need to just randomly turn around. Like, jeez. Look at Beta. Look at that. Buddy. What are you doing? What are you doing? What? Did we get hit? Yeah, Gamma's just ramming us now. God, what is wrong with you? Bad. Bad Gamma. We need to go back into the resource zone a little bit. That looks to be another resource zone to the south. Oh, we might have somewhere else to go. <laughs> yeah. That is only a thousand material though. Probably not worth our time because we'll hopefully get a fight while we're hanging out here. Um, so yeah, I will take a break from recording for a second. And as soon as anything starts up again, I will let you guys back in. So see you in a minute.
Oh, just very quickly, Gamma managed to capsize himself after that. Because he's an idiot. So we just gotta put a balloon on him. Maybe two. There we go. Gamut, you're bad. You're a bad boy. It's like rams me, capsizes himself. Beta is dancing. Like, I don't, I don't know if you know, if you guys have noticed, but Beta just dances occasionally. Gamma, go to there. Alpha, stop circling. All of you drive me mad. This is maddening to watch. And Gamma just decided to go by again. Not entirely sure why. And Beta also seems to be circling. God, you people are dumb. Bad. Bad chips. All right, and we're off. We finished that resource zone. We got 11K. Let's go ahead and make some updates, I guess. Um, Gamma's trying to sideswipe us again. Beta is right behind him. I feel like I need to spread this fleet out a little bit more. Like, that's just what it's coming down to. <laughs> <sighs> we do need to spend some more materials, especially on our ship. It should be bigger, it should be more expensive.
go. Hmm. This uh, ship appears to be sinking now. Despite the fact that I don't think it's supposed to be. <laughs> there we go. Apparently, I must have broken the air pump at some point. I don't even know where it is. Yeah, I didn't have an air pump. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Now we have an air pump. The ship is pretty buoyant. Maybe too buoyant. Let's not hit Gamma if we can avoid it. There we go. Oh, I see the enemy just spawned in, I guess. Gamma's just taking shots. <laughs> uh, okay. We definitely need to improve our roll control because these are not working. Uh, I see a bullet just shot past us. Yeah, okay, so that's two enemies shooting at us. Let's take a look at what they are. It is a transient, which is very expensive, and a cauldron, which is very expensive. So, let's go ahead and get ourselves into the resource zone, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do. Guys, I don't know. Beta's ammunition and excess is low. Okay, so Beta needs an ammo barrel upgrade. We'll go ahead and give him that in just a moment. I feel like you're not landing hits with that. Especially since it is a short range weapon I gave you. Let's go ahead and adjust this to one kilometer. Uh, beta. We need to make modifications to you because these also need, um, yeah, so effective range two kilometers. Local weapon controller, you 2000 for these, right? And I also need to give him more ammo. So, ammunition. Could potentially go like here, I guess. There we go. There's the enemy. See, we already cleared out this entire resource zone, so it's just the two enemies over here that we need to deal with. And it doesn't look like we're landing hits at all. Yeah, we're just pointlessly firing ammunition at them. Well, let's go get a bit closer, shall we? Because, yes, those are pretty big enemies, but I have a minigun. And we have a four-person squad. I am going to go ahead and adjust alpha. Um, at least the mediums on alpha over to use EMP. Because the cauldron is a big metal box. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get ourselves in range. Of the enemy beta can you focus more on driving less on shooting mm. 
We are going to switch over to fleet mode. Where is the cauldron? It's over there. Okay, cauldron is going to be our primary enemy, I think. Uh, or maybe the transient should be. We should kill it first. Okay, I thought Gamma rammed me or something, but Gamma's in front of me. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah, no. Nope. Come on, Gamma. Keep moving forward. I want you over here. Not right in front of me. Go over there. Out of the way. Come on. Chop, chop. There we go. Good work, Gamma. Yeah, Alpha definitely needs his ranges adjusted. Probably so does Beta. Like five, he's firing up to five kilometers with the. Oh, those were some good hits. Looks like we knocked it out of the air. Perfect. That or it's just dodging. Uh, that looks like some more good hits, though. Okay, let's change our direction a bit. Dodge that. Gamma, if you want to fire this thing... Wait, not controlled by AI. Did I never... One, two... Oh, apparently I'm an idiot. This is supposed to be here. This should be here. Wow. Um, altitude bracket at least 10 meters above 1500 meter range. There we go. Wow, is that why Gamma never shot? Is the whole Gamma did nothing thing? Is that literally just because I'm an idiot? Also, this thing is like. It is flanking as hard. That's a Meridian worth 90k. Uh, our little fleet. Is kind of in a bad position. Let's just continue straight forward. Because as much as I... Like, we're getting squeezed by three 90k enemies right now. And our fleet's worth, like, 40k. <laughs> um, yeah. Like, I don't think we can pursue the transient, per se. And the Meridian is starting to look like a bigger threat as it's actually approaching us, versus the Meridian is just circling ominously. Yeah, let's engage the Meridian. Probably not the wisest move. Okay, Beta start firing at the wrong target. <laughs> There goes the Alpha Strike of Missiles. Are we going to land them? Yep, they landed. Looks to have done decent damage. Yeah, there's another 9k. That's a swing and a miss from him and another. Those are EMP missiles, I do believe. Yep. 3k it moves pretty well through him. Another 3,000 explosive damage. What if some of our missiles are like peeling off and going that way? All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take manual drive of the ship. That looks pretty promising. Oh. Good work. Shoot him. <laughs> well, it did like 11 damage, but it's a hit. <laughs> Gamma officially has done something. Alright guys, can you knock his 
Well, I was going to say knock his sails off, but there goes one of the masts. <laughs> Good work. Oh, more hits. More hits. Beta, stop shooting over there. Like, I don't think it's working. <laughs> For some reason, I thought that was an enemy spawning it. I was like, oh no. <laughs> it's just a big black shadow. <laughs> okay. Bulwark is. Or is that a bulwark? There you. What are you again? Cauldron. The cauldron is shooting at us. Cauldron is undamaged. I know where the transient went. It's gone. Like, that transient just left. Oh, it's over that way, apparently. Okay, well, we sunk that one. We took a meridian down. Perfect. So there are apparently two enemies in this direction. Yeah, there's the cauldron. Oh, there's the meridian, or the transient. Yeah, it's not looking so hot. <laughs> so the cauldron is the primary objective. Because uh, the transient isn't doing anything. Oof. Ah. Ow. Okay. That hit me. Hey. You can't just shoot me. Like. Ah. Okay. 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 That's right. It just took out my steering controls as well with that shot. Man, that hurt. That was like 50% of my health instantly. Okay. Oh, it's not Ram Beta. We're still going to just charge the cauldron. Not get hit by cram shells to my face. I'd much prefer if we could somehow capture the cauldron. Um, just because I think with the fact that we are a fleet, I wouldn't uh, tear it apart for resources. I would literally just convert it. Like, it would become my new main ship. <laughs> it would be the flagship. Um, okay, something just spawned in. Which is a Jacob Scorn... And a Retiarius. Retarius. So, yeah, no, that's a thing now. Okay, can you guys can please shoot at the cauldron? <laughs> Again, it's more up to the AI of the missiles themselves. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, they don't care about the cauldron at all. They're just going for that one. So, um, let's go ahead. I was thinking of literally just setting it to torpedoes. That doesn't make too much sense. I don't know what we're going to do about the cauldron. We basically need like a big EMP to smash that thing. Although we are getting a couple little missiles, looks like, but they're out of range. Ah, oh, those are scary. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, first, take a look flight here at our fleet cost 12, 10. Nine, yeah, so I can build something on my ship without too much issue. Um, it's gonna be a torpedo. I'm getting a torpedo, it's happening. I want a torpedo. Uh, let's, let's go like here medium two, three, four, five. Uh, 
There we go. I just want a big why aren't you dead torpedo. And I'm going to get myself a big why aren't you dead torpedo. And it's going to fire EMP. Go, we'll do two fuel tanks and another EMP. And put the thrust all the way up there. And we're going to assign it to slot two because I don't think I even have anything assigned. And I don't even have a weapon controller on this ship. What was that? Okay, we're not going to touch that yet. I don't know what that is. Well, uh, uh, that is a missile that just hit Beta and took out an entire cannon. Um, okay, that hurt. Can you? Can we not? Where is my torpedo of death? Is that him? Yeah, that's him. So who just shot a torpedo? It was you? Yeah, you're the one that shot a missile at me. Where is my torpedo? There he is. Please go hit the cauldron. Knock him out entirely. Just kill him. Just kill him out, right? Did it just despawn? That looked like it just despawned. Fire the death torpedo. Maybe I should just make it a missile. I do like how many corpses are over there, though. That's nice. Um. Oh my god. Okay, that was um, that was a lot of damage, guys. Like that hurt. <laughs> that hurt real bad. Um, miscellaneous heartstone, because we appear to be dying of lack of a heartstone. Extensions. Yeah, let's let's not die immediately. What? Why are you in the sky? You are not a missile. You are a torpedo. You know what? Evidently. Oh, that looked bad. Oh, that looked real bad. <laughs> All right, come on, guys. Load that missile. Man, we took a lot of damage. Okay, let's go ahead. Chuck a pair of ejectors on this, just so it gets in the sky. Kid it. Oh, that's why it disappeared. Okay. Um, well, that's scary. Oh, <gasps> who was that? Who's dead? Beta's dead. Okay, so Beta's dead. Gamma's wounded. And on his side, Alpha is also very dead. Well then, um, so, can we not be on our side? All right, you will pay. That's, that was a big missile. 
All right. Can you please stop shooting me for just a moment, sir? Yeah, no, missiles aren't going to make it. Um, so that means that this comes down to me just face charging him and using the minigun. Like, those are our options. And without a control block, we can't do that because we can't turn. Oh, man. What just exploded? Like... Can we not get hit by those? Perfect. Okay. Well, I appear to at least have the range to do this. That went over my shoulder. <laughs> okay, that appears to have been a good hit. Luckily, we're under the water now, so he can't hit us with the missiles. Oof. Yeah, that took out my steering. So I just have to keep shooting. Just all the shooting. Come on. Just. I can sink if I can. Oh! Oh, okay. Well. As usual, we got a little too cocky. Um, apparently, the cauldron is a lot better defended against missiles than I thought it was ever going to be. I didn't think it had a uh, lamb system. I didn't think it had its own missiles. I thought it was just it's the standard Onyx watch, whole bunch of crams kind of thing. But yeah... Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, we literally just got missile directly to my personal face. Which seems to be happening a lot recently. But yeah. Well, that was a good adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do fleet mode again. I might have like one secondary ship, but I don't know if I'm going to do the whole four ships all the time balancing act we'll probably do multi-ship runs in the future but while it was fun i found it really hard to keep them specialized and all that but yeah okay thanks so much for watching guys and have a great day i hope you enjoyed the series and leave comments about what you'd like to see in the future bye